This is a patient who had been having some abdominal pain as well as some constitutional symptoms of night sweats and weight loss, and a chest, abdomen, pelvis CT scan was obtained. We did this with intravenous contrast and some oral contrast as well. And as we scroll downwards, we can see that there is an abnormality in the left lower quadrant right around here. As we examine this uh, very closely, we can see that here is the descending colon. It goes right through this region. And out it comes here is the uh, sigmoid colon. And so a portion of the large bowel is just crossing through this area. This abnormality itself is a soft tissue mass. We can see that there's a little bit of adenopathy as well adjacent to it. You can see it on the coronals as well, how uh, the descending colon and the sigmoid colon are really passing through this region, the soft tissue mass, unperturbed. There's no bowel obstruction, uh, there's no bowel distension, and there's a little bit of adenopathy associated with it as well. And so there's a number of things this could be, uh, including uh, if you think about bowel masses, certainly uh, adenocarcinomas, but typically those will cause some degree of bowel obstruction, uh, at least uh, when they're of this size. Uh, gastrointestinal stromal tumors could also give you this appearance, but they're seldom associated with uh, any adenopathy. This turned out to be lymphoma, and this is a great look for lymphoma. You have this fairly large mass of bowel is passing through it. It's not causing any bowel distension or bowel obstruction. You have this adenopathy, all of which are uh, great features uh, that are consistent with this uh, diagnosis of lymphoma.